Prokaryotes have a simple cellular structure. They have a plasma membrane which controls what enters and exits the cell. They have a cell wall, and in the case of prokaryotes, that's made of peptidoglycan. This maintains structural support for the cell. Pili are used for adhesion to other cells or sometimes for sexual conjugation. The cytoplasm is the liquid inside in which chemical reactions can take place. The flagellum is used for movement or locomotion. The prokaryote has a nucleoid region which contains loose DNA, which is not surrounded by a membrane, so it's not the nucleus, it's the nucleoid region. And finally, it has ribosomes which it uses for protein synthesis. But important to note, please, that these ribosomes are 70S, and the IB particularly wants you to know this. In eukaryotes, it's 80S, and prokaryotes, it's 70S. For explanation purposes, although you don't need to know this for the IB, the S on the 70S is a Svedberg unit. It's a measure of sedimentation or how fast a particle settles or how fast a particle moves in a centrifuge. So just for information's sake. So with regards to compartmentalization, prokaryotes are different from eukaryotes because none of the organelles, such as the ribosomes and the nucleoid region, which are found within the cytoplasm, are contained within a membrane. In other words, prokaryotes do not contain membrane-bound organelles. And if they were membrane-bound, that would form a compartment, which is why they say that prokaryotes have a simple cell structure without compartmentalization.